Hi, my name is Amesh Kiba. I'm with 2MCC TV. Today I'm going to show you how to use the remote console for Evermedia for you to see remote uh, on a remote client or to see the unit remotely. First, what you need to do, go ahead and open your uh, internet, in, internet browser or Internet Explorer for now and uh, head toward um, Aver USA website. When you get to the Aver USA website at the top, you will get support. If you go hover over your mouse, you get a drop down, and in the middle it says surveillance. Go ahead and click download, and choose your product. Uh, the EH are the standalone or the mini or the nano, and the MV are the MVR or the network card. So go ahead and choose any of them. For either all of them will have that software, and under the software you will see remote console. And over there, you will see, you'll get the link. Click download and choose a location to save the file. And when you're done, go locate your file. It's going to be a zipped file. Go ahead and extract it to your desktop or the same location and open that folder. For now, I want to go ahead and already extract it and I put it on my desktop. Open the file and you'll get what's called RC setup. Go ahead and run it. When you are ready to run it, uh, keep clicking next because all the all the settings are default and accept the agreement. Um, this information talks about what your system, your monitor resolution should be. If you have any, uh, if you have the latest uh, graphic card or the latest computer, uh, all these settings should be already as a default or one of the options on your uh, system. Uh, the MVR, I mean the remote console, it should be on your desktop now. Go ahead and open. When you open, uh, you will get a uh, record, EMAP, network, and all these settings uh, the same. If you notice that this, these are very similar to what you have on your uh, on your DVR, either standalone, standalone or the network, go ahead and click setup. In the setup, you will see uh, on default it shows what your local computer is. Unless you have a PC, you can go ahead and delete this. Uh, since you're viewing this on remotely, go ahead and delete it. Then click Add. Type in the the server name. It could be home or office or anything you would like to call it. An IP address. Type in a uh, an IP address, the remote IP address, which should be the public IP address, or if you're using this locally, you can use your uh, private IP address. The port should be 5550. Uh, what I'm typing right now is an example, so you don't have to use that. We're going to call this home. Click OK. Once you have your information saved, click that and click OK. Then what you need to do is click Network. In the network, it's going to ask you username and password. Go ahead and type in admin admin or as the default. And mine is going to say connection fail, but you can yours should, your video should come up if everything went, uh, happened according to plan. If if you get the same message that I have received, it means that the you, you have not opened the port forwarding or the connection that you typed in is not correct. Because mine, I neither have a DVR to connect to, nor do I have any port forwarding, so they will not work. And that's how you use the RC or the remote console for the Avermedia.